Hey everybody, it's Kim. Welcome to Tiny Garage. Uh, I'm at my buddy's uh, tiny basement today, my buddy Jim Mays. He's done some work in the past and you've seen some of his videos on my channel. Uh, today's project is a little bit of a different one uh, for the Tiny Garage. Uh, I've got a new BMW R1250 RT, the 2021 version. And as most of you know that I own this bike, there's really nowhere to put any kind of ram mount stuff because of the shape of the handlebars. And I'll insert a picture of the handlebars while we're talking here so you get an idea of what I'm talking about. So what I did was I saw a video of a guy with an old 1250, uh, 2018 or 19, and he had used um, a bolt with a, uh, with a ram mount, uh, like here. You know, I see this right here. And, uh, and, but he had to buy the bolt from BMW and he had to buy the spacer from BMW. I've actually bought a bolt from a place called Midstate Bolt and Screw, which is right down the street. Uh, and I'm sure that Fast and All probably sells this as well. This is called a 10 millimeter by 50 millimeter. It's a cap head bolt uh, with a shoulder. And uh, it has a, a hex head instead of a torch, okay? But other than that, that's the only difference between that and the bolt that comes out of the handlebar, which is this one right here. But you see how much shorter this bolt is. So we've measured the, um, the bushing, which Jim's taking the bushings right now. I want to show this to you back over here and he's he's take sorry about that he's uh he's taking out some of the uh inside of the bushing because the bushing is too thin or is is too uh is too small it's actually about a thousandths jim did you say it's about ten about ten thousand here let me flip it over so you can see what jim's doing here let me all right so what he's going to do now is he's taking out he's got the spacer and the bushing I'm, i'll give you a measurement for the bushing they just had these laying on the counter at mid-state bolt and screw but you need this bushing in order to be able to use the ram mount device, um, the, the ball holder, and um, and torque down the handlebar when it's done so it's supported properly. Uh, these are two things you can get, I guess, from BMW. I got them locally. Uh, it's serving the exact same purpose. Here, I'll show you what it looks like. Here's the finished one over here. So, and I'll get you measurements for this. In fact, hey, Jim, maybe you could get me some measurements for this so I could post it to them. But that's what I, that, they had these laying on the counter. There's some type of bushing, but they're exactly correct, as you'll see here in just a second. Three, th 396. Point three nine six. Point three nine six. What's that? The in interior, the ID? The ID. Okay, and that's, that's, um, that's inches, right? Point three nine six inches? Yep. Okay, do we have that in millimeters by chance? Do we know? Can we convert that? I guess I'll convert it for you. I'll show you. No, here it is right here. So the ID on this is going to be in millimeters. It's nine, nine millimeters. Nine, nine millimeters. Nine point one. Nine point one millimeter opening. So now what's going to happen is we should be able to take. In fact, I don't know if you want to. You want to. You want to open that up a little bit too. Could. Just a little bit. This is exactly the same size. Is it? Okay, yeah. well, if it is, okay, that's cool. So then what's going to happen is this is going to uh, slide onto that, like that, and go like that. All right, so we, we, we measured the interior. It's, it's uh, what did we say it was? It was a uh, nine millimeter? Right. Yeah, 9.1. 9.1 interior. Uh, that's the that's the, I, the ID. And then the, the OD length is... It's... Uh, Half an inch, which is be 12 millimeters. Okay. 12 and millimeter, and then the, the circumference? The, the outer. outside is three quarters or 19 millimeters. Okay, so there you go. So we have an ID of 9 millimeter. We got an OD of 19 millimeter. 19 millimeter and a, and a 12. 12, 12 millimeter. Okay, there you go. So that's that's the size you need of that bushing. That's probably something you can cut and make yourself. Or maybe if you're fortunate, you can find it. I found it locally already made uh, in a box on top of the counter. And we just had to just remount the inside to make it fit. All right, guys, there you go. Okay, so now we're back at the bike. I want to show you um, 
I'm, I'm not going to actually put this in, in right now because I want to go get some, um, I mean, move my hand here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I, I want to go ahead and get some uh, Loctite before I actually install this currently. But I just want to see you how this, uh, show you how this turned out. Um, it, it's stunningly perfect <laughs> for something I just did on the fly by going to my local uh, um, uh, mid-state uh, bolt and screw, which again is like a Fastenal. So I'm sure that Fastenal has all the same stuff. Uh, but the fact that I have a good friend, uh, Jim Mays, that, that has a, um, a lathe that can uh, help me um, with, the, with the finer points, uh, the detail of it, and the fact that they literally had the stuff that was required to make it work locally uh, on the fly. I mean, the, the place is like three miles from my house. So I just did all this. Uh, Jim lives about a mile and a half from me, so it was all just down and dirty. I said, hey, let me see if this will work, and it did. So I, I, I just want to share it all with you guys um, uh, so that you know that uh, this is something you can do on your own. Uh, don't be afraid to work on your bike, basically. I mean, uh, I'll show you the one that I have next to me uh, that I work on all the time. Uh, I think I have to turn this off to flip the camera around and I'll turn it back on. I'm, I'm using my phone. I, I didn't really plan to do this today, so sorry about the, the, the lower quality of, of this whole presentation. But give me a second. I'll be right back. All right, so when I talked about uh, not being afraid to work on your bike, um, I've been working on this bike for a few years. This is my 78 R80 Sly 7. I'm getting it, uh, I take it to car or bike shows. Uh, I ride it um, in parades. And I actually, I, I take it out and ride it. I'm out, I ride it across the United States. I mean, it, it runs that well. I, I'm not concerned about it all. I just see a little bit more of it. It's got all the original stuff on it. I've done a lot of work to it. But... Back to the uh, the uh, BMW uh, R1250 RT. Uh, here's what the end result looks like. So when I when I eventually get some Loctite on this and tighten it all up, look how well that bushing fit. It's just amazing. That's like the perfect fit for that. That'll go right in. Shouldn't have any problem getting that all set up uh, properly. So I can um, connect, um, um, put the other uh, ram mount stem on there. I can either have my phone set up or I can use uh, my GoPro or my DJI um, action cam I have. I bought the bolt and the other thing so I could repeat it over here on this side as well. Uh, so I could even have uh, my, my phone on the, on the, um, on, on the ram mount. Um, uh, I think they call it the X uh, holder, the X, the X, uh, the X uh, holder that they have. And the reason for that is because I noticed when my phone is in the cubby hole over here, it gets hot. And then the the, uh, the app shuts off that controls the GPS. So I'm going to actually start using my phone as a mount up here uh, on the outside. I prefer it versus that that, that cubby hole is a, a great idea. And I'm sure that maybe in cooler climates it works just fine. But when I was riding in Tennessee last week, it, it overheated immediately after I put the phone in there. And uh, the GPS would quit working. So anyhow, this will give you some options here. I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, show a... Uh, at the end of the video, I'll have all the measurements and the specs of all the items so that you can go out and buy them locally yourself and, uh, and repeat this process. So thanks a lot for watching my videos. I really appreciate it, you guys. Uh, press the like button at the bottom of the video if you like what you saw. And uh, uh, hit the subscribe button. Take care. Thank you.